Hey guys, a uh, couple days after Christmas, not sure what the day is, they all run together. Uh, working on the uh, 2000, I mean 96 town car, yeah, I sold the 2006. <laughs> so working on the 96 town car, uh, I had a couple days to spend before the parts came in, so I did some cleanup. I'm amazed. Take a look. Alright, see if we can zoom out, zoomed out, okay. Uh, wait. This is the I'm using my cell phone. So here we go. Uh, yeah, I'm amazed. I didn't do the bottom of the front bumper yet. I have to clay bar that yet, and uh, a couple spots I got a buff. I'm just getting tired. <laughs> so yeah, the new windshield went in. I don't know if anybody saw that. Uh, it was leaking air. So yeah, I got two new tires, two more on the way. But yeah, this is what we got. It's, uh, this isn't buffed. This is just, uh, I cleaned the iron. There was iron filings all down this side of the car. It was, you could see, like, the whole bottom half of the car was, like, a rust color. Um, I guess the brakes were under the rotors. Um, cleaned that off. And then I didn't get it all off with the iron remover, so I used the clay bar. I got that off, and then we used the cleaner wax. And uh, I'm amazed. You know, like I said, I didn't buff this at all. I started buffing it, and I couldn't get the iron filings out. That's why... Like, let's try something else here. So, all right, I got this zoomed out. Yeah, the garage ain't real big, so I can't. But yeah, look at that. I touched up right in here. The paint's starting to peel. I put some touch up and some clear over that. You know, it is what it is. You know, this car's 26 years old. You know, the 22 models are out. So, yeah. I got to get... Uh, one of my friends on GMN said he has some center caps for me. This was a new wheel that I bought. It was a... Uh, I thought I was buying 16-inch wheels, and they were 15. They looked similar. I was in a hurry. had my mom with me. I'm like, ah, hey, what the heck. I'll just run the 15s in a white wall. It looks really good on this car. And, you know, I'm, uh, I, got the, uh, I got the 86, the LSS for all the mods that's going to get worked on don't worry guys i just this was just kind of an impulse buy thing oh, i see a spot where i didn't wipe the wax off so anyway that's a new wheel there that was all it was a spare tire that wheels probably never go on the road so we got these uh starfire solaris tires right white wall made in usa i believe uh i got two more coming john's got two more for me i got a bunch of parts for this um back here had a little bit of boo-boo at one time looks like somebody tried straightening it out I don't know. You know, it is what it is. Bumper cover's got some paint peeling off. I touched it up with some touch-up paint. Uh, but yeah, I'm just amazing. For the as dirty as this car was, it's amazing. Just amazing. Let me see if I can zoom into the paint for you here. Oh, all you see is paint. Yeah, you just can't see much. Oh, 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 the wrong way. Yeah, I'll just go back to... This is like zoomed out half point zero five. So yeah, there you go. Um, yeah, this wheel here is not brand new, but it was in decent shape. It's got one spot where a weight was where I'll have to sand it and put some clear coat over it. I, I didn't work on the wheels yet. I just pressure washed the blue off of there. I didn't, I didn't scrub the tires or the wheels. I got to get some wheel cleaner. Um, yeah. So then it's a couple spots I've got to touch up yet. Same thing over here. I had to do some touch up work. Like I said it is what it is, but um, it's just amazing. I got to clean some door jams yet. There was a lot of pine needles. Uh, the chrome trim and the rubber around the windows isn't in the greatest condition. You know, I'll look for some of that. Right here it bothers me. This mirror is broken. Somebody glued it on, and they their 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 glue ran. If you can see that, so I got to figure out a way to get that glue off. Uh, when I get the recover from the mechanical repairs, I'm going to order another mirror and get that painted, um, put that on. So yeah, I still got to clean the wheels. These two wheels aren't. These wheels are going to be my spares. Probably got a set of snow tires. This is going to get undercoated yet. I got to find that lens. That's broken. Uh, I need desperately need a hood ornament. Uh, but man, the prices. The prices. I had one, but it's gone. <laughs> so yeah, I got the. Uh, oh yeah, and also I got the the deer warning things off of there. One was broken off anyway. 
Um, this mirror here needs to be clear coats coming off of it. Yeah, I, I'm just pretty impressed. I'm pretty impressed for what it is. Now the next challenge is the interior. Yeah, and somebody said, one of my friends, Lenny, commented, oh, that steering wheel, I know. Yeah, that, st that steering wheel, yeah. The seats, I want to see if I can find some better seats. Uh, gotta do something about the steering wheel. Probably put a cover on it for now. Maybe I'm gonna find some paint. I gotta find the interior trim color codes and order some spray paint for that for that airbag. Uh, yeah, I mean this door panel. I'd like to find a better one. I don't know what's going on here. I gotta figure out Christmas trees and whatnot. But it's not bad, you know. It's got a 308, 308 open rear. Like I said, it really needs a good cleaning. Turns dirty. Really dirty. But we're getting there. Look, doesn't sag anymore. Got new air springs on there. Yeah, the back seat's got to scrub that. Um, yeah, it's not bad. Just got to get it cleaned up. Not bad at all. Um, so, yeah, my parts are here. Came in that big box. And we got this all cleaned up back here. Um, somebody did some... Uh, let me see if I can zoom back to one point earlier. I guess you can't see that in the camera. Maybe you can. Somebody did some, must have backed into something here at one time, and this must have been repainted. And I can see the, I can see the sand marks. Yeah, that's, that's all right. It's okay. So yeah, that's where we're at. So let's see what parts we got here. Well, it's not too long. We got stuff everywhere here. I got Valvoline Max Life, Mercon 5. I got uh, Super Tech Extended Life Antifreeze. I got Super Tech 5W30 Full Synthetic. I got new brake rotors in the box here. I got some extra bright headlights. Hella 9007. They're supposed to be plus 50% brighter. I got a new. New, got a new uh, cooling reservoir cap. I can't call it a ear cap. No, coolant reservoir cap. Brand new. We got um, one of these is a one of these is a transmission filter for the town car. One's for transmission filter for my mom's van. Uh, let's see. This is what I was using. I was using the McGuire's Quick Detailer and the McGuire's uh, Clay Bar Kit. Uh, where is it? Uh, I got a mess here. Right here. Right here, McGuire's Clay Kit. That's what I used. And I was using the McGuire's Cleaner Wax. I've been using that stuff for 30 years. Love it. So, yeah, that's where we're at here. Uh, bags of stuff. Um, oh, yeah, I got a box of goodies here. Um, four tie rod ends, four, two sleeves, sway bar links. I don't know if I need them or not. They've been replaced, but you never know if they come out or not. They were like two fifty dollars a piece on the clearance. There's an idler arm, should be a pitman arm here. Uh, the exhaust hanger donuts, they were torn, so I got four of them. I should have got six. Uh, all right, that's what we got here. That's a pitman arm, I think. Yep, pitman arm, pitman arm. It's a grease fitting. Okay, not all this stuff has grease fitting. It is what it is. Factory stuff doesn't either. So, yeah, that's where we're at. I got, uh, yeah, I got new pads here. Oh, and then here, uh, yeah, new air filter, new fuel filter. Yeah, no, I got Fram. Don't worry about it. Uh, it's good enough. Um, I got uh, new ABS sensors for the front. Uh, ABS lights on, and I see the wires are torn, so... Not torn, but the insulation's ripped, so I'm assuming it's those. We'll, we'll replace them, go from there. And I got these Bosch brake pads, uh, Severe Duty. Hope they're all right. They were they were on clearance. Clearance, clearance. So I'm still waiting on the radiator and the radiator fan and one other thing. And then I got, uh, we'll, we'll go from there next round. This, this round, we'll get it uh, front end all together and tight. Um, back end's done. I just got to put the rear sway bar, bar bushings and link, links in the, in the back. Uh, we got a filler neck seal in the back for place because that was leaking fuel. We got new air springs in the back. We got new shocks in the back. Uh, we also got new shocks for the front. All over the place here. Got new shocks for the front. And uh, we got the Motorcraft oil filter. So that's where we're at. Shiny, shiny paint. 
unbelievable. So yeah. And now the fun whenever now the now the fun begins. You're building the front end. Uh, I'm gonna change the differential fluid. I'm going to uh change the transmission fluid. I have to get power steering fluid yet uh I'm not sure if these newer ones still take pipe F or not. I gotta I gotta look it up. Also seeking out service manuals for this car. But yeah, those are the things I need. If you know anybody out there that has a parts hoard, I need a passenger side mirror, which I can get new. I need that lens. Um, OEM has the Lincoln logo. Aftermarket doesn't. I need uh, one of these door handle covers. Uh, it's over here on the other side. There's only one missing. Uh, one of these door handle covers. One of those right there. Need one of them. Um, yeah, and then, uh, so like I said, this is going to be a driver. It's, it's going to be a driver. Not in the winter, though. I don't think I want to drive it in the winter. I think I'll drive the freaking, drive the van and the Hyundai. I got the Toyota together, too. I got to make a video on that. Now I got to get uh, some help with the body work on the Toyota. But yeah, you know, this car, oh, oh, wrecking the place. This car, this car doesn't have any rust on it. I mean, it's got some surface rust, and yeah, the fuel line, not, not the fuel line, I said that before in the last video. The brake lines have been replaced, and there's like one or two brake lines that I'm going to have to replace. Uh, it is what it is. Well, yeah, she's pretty. Just got to get the uh, rest of it straightened out. And, uh, yeah. All right, so, all right, you guys, thanks for watching, and uh, hit the like button there, and subscribe, and share this, the Lincoln groups and stuff, and uh, you guys take care, and God bless. Talk to you later.